Hi, Micah. Serena, how's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? What's going on? What's the world for you? <laughs> uh, just, you know, like everyone else, adjusting to this different lifestyle. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Um, you know, keep everyone safe. And um, I was built for this quarantine life, really. I've always been saying, um, those who know me, I pretty much, I work out, come home, watch TV, chill out. So, you know, this, this is fine for me. Um, all the people that are affected, you know, I feel feel bad, but I'm doing my part, taking the quarantine very seriously and uh, just moving on with this new uh, reality that we have. And it's crazy because the NFL hasn't really changed. Free agency is still taking place, you know, yeah. even though, you know, the Rams are in it, their off season, there's still a lot going on and the draft is still going to take place. Uh, and then you got a nice little package in the mail, I believe. All the Rams are getting the new logos, new colors. Your thoughts on just yeah. the new look for the Rams? You know, L.A. isn't really like a football town per se. So when you're the Rams, you have to kind of market more towards, you know, a lifestyle, you know, a brand. It's more about a, a, a total, you know, package than it is just football. And, you know, in my opinion, I think the colors look great. The logo, what they're trying to talk about with, you know, the waves and the sun and the Santa Monica Pier, it really tries to incorporate all of L.A. And it's more than just L.A. Rams football, but L.A., the town, the environment, you know, the weather, et cetera. So, you know, it's more of a, a branding and a lifestyle and an L.A. change, per se, than it is just yeah. football. So can't wait to wear the gear uh, this year. So when everything kind of gets back to normal, <laughs> what are you most excited? You sat out last season. I'm excited to see you get back on the field. Yeah, just to play, play, play ball again, really get around the guys. I mean, but just to get back in the locker room, you know, shooting the stuff in the locker room and just uh, getting back playing ball and having fun again. Speaking of the locker room, there's been a lot of changes to the Rams locker room. A lot of guys, a lot of linebackers, a lot of your buddies. Your, I think your next door neighbor is was Corey Littleton, right? Is there any of the guys, you know, just with all the changes happening, any funny stories or any guys you're really going to miss? Are I mean, you excited to play against now? <laughs> I mean, uh, losing Corey, I mean, that's like a big brother, really. Um, learned a lot from him. Really good guy. Corey was a great dude, but he really earned everything he's getting. And I'm just really happy for him to go to, you know, Vegas, which is pretty sweet for him, really being Vegas, a new stadium as well, a new kind of branding out there. And for him to be a part of that is really awesome. Obviously losing TG, you know, he really, you know, was the face of the Rams for a while and um, just a really great guy. You know, you know, he really did a lot off the field for a lot of guys, you know, to really bring the team together. But um, I'll, I've been saying this, you know, we got to, a lot of young guys that are really looking, you know, to step up and have their opportunity. And I'm um, looking forward to it. I'm really optimistic about next year. And I think, you know, fans should be as well. Yeah. And the Rams, during this whole free agency, uh, the Rams have agreed to terms with linebacker Leonard Floyd. I don't know if you know much about him, but how excited are you to get a guy like that into the, the locker room? Yeah. I mean, uh, losing Dante. So, you know, bring another outside linebacker in is great. Um, you know, a Georgia guy. I know we've had a lot of Georgia boys on the team. Todd and um, thinking back to my guy, Rameek, from a couple of years ago. So, you know, Georgia guys have been really good teammates and uh, looking forward to playing with them. Anything else, positive words you want to share to Rams fans who are excited for the new stadium and just, you know, excited to see your face? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, you know, it's, it's weird times right now, but just, you know, stay safe, protect yourself, protect your family, and protect others. I think this is this is a situation that's really touching us all right now and for us to just come together as you know one as a one people and regardless of differences just hey do do our part help out so we can have a, a great football season next year i'm really looking forward to football next year and opening up that new stadium it's going to be great it's going to be a great atmosphere we're going to have a great team it's going to be a great year so 2020 i've been claiming 2020 as my year and i think 2020 can be our year together so let's go do it I like that. Well, I'm excited to see you, and I hope to see you guys all really soon in person. But thanks. Appreciate your time, Micah. I appreciate it.